Stop, right? You're doing too many exam questions. That's right. In this video, I'm going to tell you the opposite to probably what all your teachers have told you in year 11 and year 12 and 13 so far. This is a mistake that a lot of kids start to make in post 16 and they really focus a bit too much on doing the exam questions. I know that sounds a little bit weird because probably your teachers have told you one of the most important things you can do is the exam questions. And that's definitely the case, okay? Doing exam questions is one of the best forms of revision, but it is not the best way to learn your subject. I'm much more concerned that you should actually love what you're studying, and that's a trait of the people who get the highest grades. It's not that they do the most work necessarily, it's that they actually really enjoy what they're studying, they actually really enjoy finding out about the physics, they actually really enjoy reading up and reading wider and spending time watching things that take them beyond the course. Now believe me, there is a certain amount of merit to spending a lot of time with the exam syllabus and with the exam questions, making sure you know exactly how you are going to be assessed, but there's just as much to becoming a physicist. Actually thinking about physics as a kind of vocation, as a kind of task, rather than just thinking about yourself as an A-level physics student. In my classroom, I'm much more concerned that people are learning physics, not learning how to answer the exam questions. That comes later. I'm much more concerned that people are enjoying their studies, they're enjoying learning physics, so that they've got that interest to actually sit down and do that hard study. So I'll tell you a story, and it's a bit of a familiar story, unfortunately. It's about a student who, you know, they did every single pass paper. They did pass papers from other specifications. They did pass papers from 10, 15 years ago, from the old specifications, and they knew all of these exam papers really, really well. They had them all in their folder, and they carted these folders around. And every single time we did a mock exam, they did really, really well in those mock exams because they knew those questions really, really well. They knew the answers to those questions. In fact, they'd already seen, they'd already done all the mock exams before we even gave them to them in class. So it looked like they were going to do really, really well. But when it came to crunch time, they got a C. Now, C's not bad at A-level, don't get me wrong, but, you know, they were capable of so much more. They wanted to do really well so bad that they went and they found all those past papers and they worked through them solidly. They did so much independent study. When it came to the real thing, though, they knew all the answers to all those old questions, but they couldn't solve the problems in the questions in front of them. So when you do do the practice questions, make sure that you're really focused on how to solve the problems, not just what the answer is. I remember actually sitting down in meetings and people said, oh yeah, that is a really good idea to do more exam questions. When I was at school, there, I hardly saw an exam question until the actual day of the exam. Well, we did a set of mock exams, let's say, but really, exam questions were not something that we regularly saw. Now, teachers give you exam questions, in, in my opinion, many teachers, a bit too regularly, and it gives you the idea that the only way to learn your subject is to do exam questions. Exam questions are just one ingredient in a well kind of rounded study of your subject. Exam questions are important, but they are not the subject you're doing. Being able to answer exam questions does not show that you can do physics. Being able to answer exam questions does not show that you can do English or maths or chemistry or anything like that. That is just the way in which you are assessed at the end of those two years that you are studying, let's say, A-level physics. I even come across lessons now where the starter, the main and the plenary are all exam questions. I feel like the most important thing for you to get from your school is an actual enjoyment of the subjects that you are studying. I see a lot of students carting around folders that are full of exam questions. Now those kids normally do quite well, but it is not because they've just studied exam questions. Those kids normally do quite well, but it does not take them normally to the very highest grades. The people who get the very highest grades, they're interested in all of their subject. They're interested in, and they're passionate about finding out more, about reading more. They're reading articles about their subject. They're reading extra books and they're reading their textbooks really closely and making sure they understand exactly what they're, they're being told and why they're being told it. So what I'm saying is being drilled for the exam will teach you to pass it, but it will not teach you to excel in your subject. So it might get you a C, but it won't get you an A star. So that's why I say you've got to stop because you're doing too many exam questions. And you're, you're working through the exam questions just methodically, like here's the question, here's the answer, that feels comfortable because I know the answers to those questions. 
Unfortunately, in all A-level exams and most of the new GCSEs, they're going to be looking to ask you things that are so hard and things that you won't have come across before. And just knowing the answers to those past paper questions is not going to be enough knowledge to get you those top grades. It was the case, I mean, the previous GCSEs, they've been around for so long that in many ways you could do really, really well just by having done all of the past papers. But now we've got these new specifications that haven't been around for many years and there aren't that many past papers for them out there and you can't really get by on just having done the past papers. So just doing exam questions might well get you a C, but it probably won't get you an A star. The problem is if you do exam questions then you learn the answers to those questions. You don't necessarily learn the skills of solving problems within your subject. To really excel in your subject you've got to really do your subject. So for us in sciences that's probably doing experiments. For geography that's probably field work. For English it's going to be reading loads and thinking of your own criticisms of the work. Or maybe writing your own essays. There's one subject where it does come down to practicing questions and that's probably maths. Maths is that kind of purely mechanical and really the questions are often very, very similar in, in maths exams and it's just that the numbers are different. But even in maths they're going to chuck at you some really novel problems, some really difficult things that you won't have had a practice at. That you, there won't be another exam question with that same problem. So you need to learn how to solve problems using this maths toolkit that you've developed through your lessons. It's crucial to know what to expect in those exams. But maybe exam questions should only be about 20% of what you're doing. So when you do practice questions, that's not just past paper exam questions, there's all the different types of questions. You've got to look at the problem that you're trying to solve and you've got to work out, all right, what's the method I go through to reach this answer? If it's a calculation question, if it's a written question, what actual methodology do I go through to answer this question in front of me? That's the skill, that's the practice, not what the answers to the questions are. Aside from that, you know exam questions, they're flipping boring, right? You've got to find a way to make your study enjoyable or at least interesting and I would suggest, well, exam questions, they aren't really going to do that for you. Don't bore yourself to tears with your study. You should be loving it. You should be enjoying it. You've got to find reasons to care and, well, although exam results are important, I suggest to you none of you really picked a subject to do the exam. It's not the reason why you wanted to learn the thing, is it, to actually sit that exam.